guys, what's up? It is I, Jesh TV here again, and welcome back to some Jack 2. So today we're at Torn's Hideout, getting ready to end off Act 1. Yeah, this is the official end to Act 1. The last video is what I consider to be the end of Act 1, because most people are just like, you know, the acts end with a boss fight. But yeah, the game considers this the end of Act 1, so let's hop in there. Oh, look, Gore, Gore and the kids here. The city's on high alert. What the hell did you two do? Us? Uh, nothing. We've been, um, sightseeing. Right, Jack? Really? Then why are the Crimson Guard looking for a dangerous young man with light hair, blue tunic, and a rabbit orange rat on his shoulder? Uh, could be anyone. Orange is the new black this season. Look, we climbed up to the Baron's palace, and we tripped a few alarms. Oh, right. That's who. What? I didn't authorize a strike on the- Hey, we kicked the Baron's ass. Unfortunately, he escaped. And we overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads! You saw the Metalhead leader? No, he was on some communicator. But we heard him talking with Baron Praxis. The Baron is bribing the Metalheads with Eco! Hmm, it will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double-cross him! Is that so? Well, our good Baron's wonderful charm must have angered someone, because there's word from the Wasteland that Metalhead armies are on the move again. Why didn't you tell me Ashlyn was Praxis's daughter? What's your connection with her? That's none of your business. Since you've stirred up the Wumpy's nest, you and Whiskers here get to move four of our people to new safe houses. Shuttle each agent to a location they specify. It's free real estate. Any casualties? Don't screw this up, Jack. Okay, so I sort of forgot about this mission, but it's not too difficult. I actually thought we were gonna go into the mission, I'm pretty sure the one after this. Because the one after this isn't pretty suspicious. I give up your freedom, and I will protect you! About time, let's get out of here! Faith in me. The next mission can be a hard mission, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Because that area is very difficult to get around, and it's sort of where I feel the god awful difficult spikes sort of begin. Good drive. Go save him. Go save him. Yeah. Okay, get, get one guy out. I'll 
also, uh, another thing that you might notice is these guys die really easily they die the mission fails. So, uh, take this mission with that. Scouts report movement in Dead Town. Creatures moving toward the sacred site, just as before. What happened, uh, before? Metalheads broke through the old city wall. We fought them, but then the Baron pulled back, leaving everyone outside the new barrier to die. Only the Shadow stayed and somehow stopped the attack. And now you expect us to go out there again? You catch on fast. If you prevent the Metalheads from reaching the sacred site, the Shadow will be most grateful. He might even ask to see you. Hey, I'm probably wasting this, but here's a Vulcan barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, you're gonna need it. Okay, so we just got the Vul Vulcan barrel, which is my personal favorite gun, because this thing is like a minigun. Very reminiscent of one. Okay, so since we all already know how to get to Dead Town, I'm gonna cut ahead once more to when we get to Dead Town. That way I don't waste any time and we can try to get through this mission. So let's get into this. I think you can see why this thing is my favorite. And how much it is like a mini gun. However, most people will probably use blaster because understandable the Vulcan barrel never seems to have my one problem with the Vulcan barrel is it never seems to have enough ammo no matter how many upgrades you are in it until you get the infinite ammo it will almost never have enough ammo simply because of how fast it fires and how the damage out of it Plus, most metalheads don't die until you stop shooting. But this is a pretty fun thing to use as far as minigun weapon goes. The only sad part is, is eventually you have to run out of ammo for it and it sucks when you do. Okay, so I need to address this. So, there are some precursor ones here that I unfortunately cannot obtain due to not having the jet board.
actually start after you get Dark Jack and just, just go to town. Because seriously, Dark, I recommend getting a few hits on your Dark Jack. Let's go back to the city. But later on in the game, it will be 
accessible. Ooh. Also, this is where that checkpoint is. Let's go back to the city. Now, one of the worst locations because by the time you finish this mission, I expect you will have one hit point left. Maybe. You'll either have one or two. Most of the time, two. And normally, you'll hit the ground and that will happen. Go back to the city, Jack. Well, Dexter, I can ask what you think. Seriously, if I wanted to know what you think, I'm actually asked. I'm either gonna title this video something about Uber or what oh, a twist. <laughs> Finally, now we get to see the shadow. What do you gotta do around this place to get noticed? Oh, I can't that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut ahead to when we get to that little skull jam thing. So I'm even now. The Metalhead Leader realizes you can destroy him and save the last chance for our race. You now have control of another dark power. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Anyway guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.